first memory I have of Lori, and I don't know if this sounds odd, but is her coming and helping me wash dishes after work one night. Um, I didn't actually know much about her when I first met her. She didn't talk about herself a lot. Um, she was very interested in me and my background, but I didn't know much about her. And when she came into the kitchen that night, I remember I was here, it was probably about 5.30, and back then we had a very limited staff, and she just started washing the dishes. And I thought to myself, wow, this person really is amazing to just be able to do everything that's needed to help out in any area. And that, has, that belief has exponentially grown in the last seven years because that is what Lori represents to me, is someone that's willing to get in it. I wouldn't be at Sunflower were it not for Lori Wexler. It's about time Lori is honored. Young people have found work. Young people many others have given up on. Young people who didn't find their niche until they came to us at Sunflower. Um, that would be probably uh, the most unbelievable outcome of the bakery. When Sarah and Laurie came to visit me to talk to me about uh, the Sunflower Bakery, uh, I was so impressed. And for me, a lot of the organizations I pick, the way they're picked is by the people. This, these were two people who were so dedicated, sincere, uh, seemed to have no ego in what they were doing. It was all about uh, serving the population they wanted to serve. To be able to help uh, this population, the special needs population, people to be able to work, to get a job, which uh, in my understanding of Maimonides, that is the highest level of charity. It was just another thing that uh, uh, made it very exciting for me and uh, anxious to help. Laurie uh, comes to visit me about once a year and we talk about what's happening with the bakery and she always has new ideas, new things that she wants to try. Uh, and again, it gets me very excited because uh, it's, it's something for a very special population different than uh, what has happened before. And uh, Laurie's uh, humility and sincerity uh, are just so impressive. What Laurie brought, you always need a driver of the passion. They had the passion. The driver of the passion, Laurie was perfect because she combines um, that strong desire to manage and move it ahead with just the right amount of chutzpah. Uh, the privilege of being married to Lori. From the very beginning, as much promise as there was, there also was trepidation. Uh, no one knew exactly what path would be taken, what would succeed, what maybe wouldn't. And um, it was, more than anything, a great deal of hard work, all for a very wonderful cause, but uh, hard work in a way that I think, at least for me, I, I never had seen on a first-hand uh, basis that level of commitment and determination. It was extraordinary. Lori has so many of the really vital and the essential uh, attributes that define a leader and that in turn and ultimately have contributed to the phenomenal success of this extraordinary and innovative um, project and um, she's certainly a visionary. She's strategic in every way. She's um, organized and structured. She's flexible and looks at all sides. JFJH was proud and pleased to be able to share some of our vast expertise at the beginning, particularly in areas of governance. And I felt that um, JFGH being a launch partner, along with Federation and the United Jewish Endowment Fund, lended tremendous credibility to this uh, project. I've, uh, I'm a volunteer at the bakery and at the cafe. Uh, that is a sunflower bakery and a cafe sunflower. I've become a merciful parent of a young man who enrolled in a pastry arts program 
who uh, graduated and found a job. I think um, the expectations were kept at a high level for the students and for the customers. For the students because they get a good training and for the customers because they get good service, good products and a clean environment, which I forgot to mention. Uh, we all know where the cleaning spray is with Lori because she wants everything neat. Community collaboration and support are critical to the success of Sunflower and Lori's relationships with and the outreach to funders and foundations have been key. I can't imagine another person with whom I would rather have shared the challenges, the joys, the disappointments and the miracles of creating, sustaining Sunflower Bakery and Cafe Sunflower other than my dear friend and colleague, Lori Wexler.